Welcome to CSL TV. I just hope you guys are having a beautiful, blessed day. Now, if you're new to the channel, this is just a review, a reaction, as well as an informational channel. Hopefully, the informational part helped you or someone out. And y'all already know, we just watch what goes on in the world and discuss it. And as you guys can see, a Detroit man crashed into a state trooper while attempting to eat chicken wings. And this is why y'all need to keep your eyes on the road at all times including your hands so you can swerve out the way just in case you run into some sh like this but i'm not gonna just say some sh like this you need to be paying attention to the road anyway but as y'all can see the incident happened in detroit and we don't know what's gonna happen to this guy but at the same time i just hope you folks out there is having a beautiful blessed day these are two toddlers on a Texas highway in diapers after a car accident, and their dad might face criminal charges. Cops say two cars crashed on the highway Sunday when the Jeep the toddlers were in flipped and threw them onto the road. Two strangers ran to save them. Both were taken to a hospital and they're in serious but stable condition, and their dad was treated for minor injuries. The investigation has proven that the two children were not uh, in car seats at all. They were just, um, sitting in the back of the vehicle. No charges have been filed yet, but officials say they're likely coming and the investigation is ongoing. Now, seeing this scene right here, seeing this capture moment, that is very heartbreaking to see those babies out there by themselves. And for one, to hear that the dang parent was driving without having them, number one, following safety rules and that's always have them buckled up. But you didn't even have a damn car seat in the, in the Jeep. Now you see how this Jeep look. If it wasn't for that roll cage or whatever, I'm pretty sure that whole top would have been crushed. Now I don't know when they say they're in serious but stable condition, what that could possibly mean because you never know, things could always turn. But at the same time, I mean, come on, look at this image. Look at this photo. This is why y'all need to watch out on the road when we share this road with not just ourselves or the person next to us, but with other vehicles, with other humans, with other, you know, kids. Like, look at this. What if it was a busy day on the highway? A busy day. And y'all know how busy shit can get on the highway. This happened. These cars was coming so fast, they didn't even see the kids. You know, and people swerving, hitting this car, possibly hitting the kid. It could have been so much worse is what I'm trying to say. So why not do things the right way and practice safety? Because man, this could have been so bad. Cops are looking for possible kidnappers in Texas. Get your mom, get your mom, get your mom. I'm trying to kidnap Jay. A mom says she and her boys had friends over on Monday when two cars pulled in front of their house. And all of a sudden the door flies open and I hear the boys yelling, Jay's being kidnapped, Jay's being kidnapped. Home surveillance shows a man coming out of a white Toyota 4Runner and chasing after one of the kids. They were calling to my son saying, hey, we have a football player in our car. Like, you should come talk to him. And my son said, I don't talk to strangers. And they reversed the car and Jonathan just started running. The mom came out and got a picture of the license plate and the school district sent out an alert to parents. Man, let's just say shout out to those parents for teaching their kids stranger danger because this could have been so bad if these kids would have been abducted and y'all know these sick people is out there so if you got children teach them the stranger danger not to talk to other folks that they don't know and be careful around the folks you do know because this is a crazy world that we living in and we didn't seen and heard and lived through some crazy shit. now this is the license plate of the people who was trying to kidnap them kids so if you live in texas we don't know if this car stolen or not it don't even matter if you live in Texas, just in general. But in Texas, this is who they're looking for. This is the description of the vehicle, the license plate, all that shit. Because, I mean, come on, man. These kids can't play outside nowadays without some sicko psycho trying to do some shit like this. And it's bad enough in this generation that the kids be inside on electronics and stuff. But you see these kids actually outside. And this is type of shit that happened because... I mean, these six psychos is like everywhere. So, teach your kids, stranger danger, all that good stuff so they can be safe 
and run away just like this children just like these children just did granted God help to the next person that they know or I should say the adult that's supervising them.